shocking revelations about our vast universe. In my younger and more vulnerable years, I might have said that the most shocking thing about our universe was that it contained people who believed that Paris was in Texas. But as the fog of youth has lifted, I find myself bedazzled by revelations far more stupefying. We live, dear reader, on a modest speck of dust, suspended in a sunbeam. Yet, in our typical human grandeur, we declare ourselves the crown jewel of creation. It is, however, when one gazes upward on a clear night that the enormity of our ignorance is laid bare. The stars we see are but a smattering, a meager sample of the grand tapestry of the cosmos. First, consider the fact that our universe is around 13.8 billion years old. That's billion with a B, mind you. When one thinks of the countless stories, adventures, and misadventures contained in a single human life, stretching but a few decades, the mind boggles at the tales the universe could tell. Could we but listen, oh, the yarns we'd hear. Moreover, in this vast cosmic dance, our Milky Way, that glowing band that's inspired poets and lovers for generations, is but one of around two trillion galaxies. Trillions. Why? It's enough to make one feel as significant as a flea on an elephant as back. And in each of these galaxies, there are billions of stars, many with their own retinue of planets. It's as if the universe is a grand library, and each star a tome filled with secrets and stories, most of which we'll never read. But the wonders don't end there. We're told of black holes, regions in space where gravity pulls so much that even light cannot escape. The very idea sounds like a yarn spun after imbibing a few too many whiskeys. Yet, these cosmic conundrums are very real, and they question our very understanding of physics and reality. It's as if the universe, in its mischievous wisdom, has decided to sprinkle in a few plot twists to keep us mortals guessing. Then there's the revelation of dark matter and dark energy, which together make up about 95% of the universe. We cannot see them, touch them, or taste them, and yet they dominate everything. It's akin to a fish discovering that water, which it took for granted all its life, is merely a fraction of the world. Everywhere we look, the universe humbles us with its vastness and mysteries. As I ponder these shocking facts, I'm reminded of a cat I once had. Mr. Whiskers would sit on the windowsill, staring with intensity at the vast world beyond, certain in his little feline heart that he grasped its fullness. How similar we are to Mr. Whiskers. Staring at the universe with our telescopes, certain we've got a grip on it, only to discover another layer of wonder. In the end, it appears the universe has a sense of humor, a Twain Ian one at that. Just when we think we've got things figured out, it tosses a cosmic joke our way, reminding us to always maintain our humility, our wonder, and our quest for understanding in this ever-expanding story of existence. And so, as I look up at the starry expanse, I tip my hat to the universe, that grand old raconteur, always full of surprises.